Hi, this is introduction to manual therapy diploma program, uh, Cairo, uh, between September and December 2015. Uh, the program aimed to uh, help the participants to develop a range of practical and clinical reasoning skills. Uh, we'll try to introduce a wide range of concepts and uh, in a very simple way, and we'll help you to use these concepts uh, with your patients straight away. So, um, Part of the program is um, distance learning or self-managed uh, activities. These activities aims to help you to read a research and to be able to extract information from a research to apply for your patient. Teaching block one, um, we will cover uh, pain theories, what's the meaning of mechanical pain, inflammatory pain, why it's important to understand the difference between mechanical and inflammatory pain. We'll introduce uh, red flags. Uh, what's the meaning of red flags? Why do we need to screen red flags before we start assessing or treating our patients? Uh, other objective of this uh, block is to apply a wide range of assessment and treatment strategies. Uh, when we say wide range of assessment and treatment strategies, we mean different concepts, including McKinsey, Maitland, Mulligan, neurodynamics, core stability, and others. We're not going to introduce names. We're going to introduce how these concepts can work together. How can we use all these concepts in order to maximize the treatment outcomes? Again, in a very simple way. Uh, at the same time, uh, it's not going to be just one tutor talking to participants in a very boring way. No, it will be mainly discussion uh, clinical application and uh, in a small groups because we'll have uh, at least three teaching assistants during the program. Same thing will be in teaching block two with different tutor, uh, but we'll focus on lower quadrant, lumbar spine, sacroiliac joint, uh, hip and knee joint. Uh, this will be a um, um, revision, but also revision of pain theories and red flags but we'll try to, it will be mainly applicable to lumbar spine, sacral leg joint, hip and knee uh, with details. Um, uh, again, working in small groups, uh, a lot of case studies and a lot of practical application. Uh, after you finish teaching block one and two, uh, we expect your clinical reasoning and handling skills to be much better. Here, this is the right time to introduce more advanced techniques. This including uh, manipulative techniques for the spine and also uh, give you time to think about the spine mechanics and uh, how we consider this information, this knowledge about spine mechanics on assessment and treatment of wide range of spinal conditions. Uh, finally, teaching block four um, will revise most of uh, the previous techniques, assessment and treatment techniques, uh, a lot of case studies. We'll look at uh, advanced rehabilitation programs, uh, a new concept like core stability and proximal control um, and again to be honest this this teaching block it will be mainly about you to tell us what else you want to know so uh, a lot of revision a lot of practical application and a lot of group work at the end of this teaching block there will be an mcq uh, exam uh, it will be 50 mcq questions uh, these questions uh, each question will have one mark Oh, uh, which means uh, the final, the total mark is 50. Um, there's a practical exam, uh, which is uh, maximum uh, mark to be achieved is 30. And then for the distance learning activities, which are, which are, there are four uh, tasks. For each task, it will have five marks. So the total marks for the whole program uh, examination is 100 marks. You have to achieve uh, 70 out of 100 to pass this program. If you don't, if you decided not to take the exam, uh, you will be given attendance certificate. However, if you pass the exam, uh, you will get an achievement certificate uh, and you'll be a manual therapy diploma holder. Now, very important question. Is this program is the right program for me? Uh, you have to ask yourself first, um, What's my current practice? Is my current practice is mainly electrotherapy and passive modalities and um, sometimes using exercises? 
uh, you have to ask yourself, do I have, um, do normally I stuck with my patients? So I don't know exactly if this pain is coming from cervical spine or shoulder, is this pain on the lower limb is coming from lumbar spine, sacroiliac joint or hip. If you really struggle with this differential diagnosis and you feel that you don't have enough tools uh, to treat your patients, when I say tools, it's not just about electrotherapy, about passive modalities. It's also about using uh, joint mobilization technique, about using uh, mechanical therapy, uh, loading techniques and loading strategies. Uh, if you don't have all these tools, this means you don't have flexibility and options in treating your patients. So in this case, um, if you really have all these problems, so I think this is the right program for you. Uh, the discussion will be uh, very flexible. Uh, all ideas will be accepted as long as you have evidence behind what you say, which means during the teaching blocks, you will have the opportunity to discuss your cases on the right time at the end of the day with your tutor, uh, uh, which means you can learn things and go and apply these things to your patient straight away. Okay, so uh, to prepare for this program, uh, if you're interested to join us, you have to revise your anatomy and biomechanics of the spine, shoulder, elbow, sacral, joint, hip, and knee. Um, you um, have to read this PowerPoint on Facebook group. Um, uh, there's uh, one about how to read the research uh, and how to critical research. This will be part of the distance learning, but we'll make this available to everyone. Uh, so at least you know exactly uh, what do you expect from this program or what will happen on the first distance learning uh, block or activity. Um, you have to come prepared. Uh, this is a very practical, highly practical uh, program. So make bear in mind uh, you'll be you'll be modeling for each other, male modeling for male, female modeling for female. So make sure that you uh, come in a comfortable flow if you decide to join us. For the distance learning, um, you you all everyone is watching this PowerPoint uh, presentation. You will you can have access to the details of the first uh, distance learning task, which is how to read and critical research. Task two uh, for those who are going to join the program will be uh, how to read randomized controlled trial or RCT and how could you critique RCTs using Pedro scale. Task three you will have uh, will will give you a case study paper case study uh, you have to uh, think about subjective examination objective examination and treatment for this case study and you have to video uh, yourself um, assessing and treating a model or a, or, a, or a real patient and you have to submit this video presentation at the end at the beginning of teaching block 4 uh, there is another case study related to cervical spine for registration, uh, you can go to uh, our website, primephysio.com, for full details, or you can ring uh, this number for booking. Uh, if you have any question, uh, uh, feel free to post your question on Prime Physio Group on Facebook, or you can email uh, administration team uh, uh, from the Contact Us page on primephysio.com website. Thank you.